What's going on everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to look at a photo that's been making the rounds on the internet. And that photo has got to do with the doorway on Mars. Now, Rami Bar-Alan has done this, put it on Facebook. We have my friends uh, Thomas Jensen has done it from Spacelink TV. We have Joe from Art Alien TV who's done a Gigapan and has done a video on it. We have Jean Ward that's also done a video on this and did a follow-up too because uh, there's extra details that he had uh, that they have seen both uh, Joe as well as him. So let me show you what I'm talking about because this is interesting. All right, so we got this one here. Now this is Joe's from Ot Alien TV. You can see it up here at the top. Uh, he's put this giga pin together. Thank you, Joe, for your work. We really appreciate you. And we have Neville Thompson, who's also done a giga pin. You can see it right here. This one here is in color, where Joe's is in black and white. Sometimes the black and white's better because you don't have any weird colors like blocking details. And the other, other downfall, and I've said this before, where Neville has done these, the problem with it is he's doing the finished product. In other words, what NASA or JPL, whoever's finishing up these photos or, or doctoring them up, they've pretty much gotten rid of any details that we might have seen in the maybe less high res. In other words, a little bit lower res, but the details were there. But the finished product, everything's completely wiped. And the thing is, folks, these guys have done a great job doing a video of their own on this particular topic. And it's cool because you get different inputs because maybe they see different details or how they feel about the object or objects in question. So it's really good that more people are doing these. And I've always said, if you see something in my videos, you want to make a video of it, go for it. Because here's the thing. It's about spreading the word. It's about getting this out to as many people as you can. That's what it's all about. Uh, at least that's my mission, and I'm sure just about all of these guys that are doing these, it's pretty much their mission too, right? All right, so let's zoom into this. Again, Joe, thanks for your work. I appreciate you. Uh, you can see this right here. This is pretty interesting. Now, I have found some other weird things on the ground. Now, if we take a look at this. Now, somebody had mentioned that there looks like there's something in the doorway of this. Right here on the right edge. Uh, they said that this is like a point or something like that, like a corner to the doorway. I'm not sure that's what it is. I think it's an actual shadow because you can see the shadow on the ground here as well, right? So I think it's the shadow actually coming from maybe the right side or at least coming down from uh, like high noon or maybe 1 to 2 o'clock, roughly. Because you can see right here on the rock here on the lower right, it looks like, we can go ahead and get rid of this here. You can see right here there's a shadow. It almost looks like maybe 1, 2 o'clock position on the sun. It's not directly over. It's a little... Uh, maybe to the right uh, on this photo. Now, I think it was Thomas that mentioned this here, what looks like partial wall. And I think you'd agree that's what it kind of looks like. At least to me it does. See that? That is kind of weird. But here's another thing. I'm not sure one of these guys mentioned because I watch their videos and I don't think they mentioned this particular one. And if they did, that's fine too. But this here also looks like a piece of wall. And you can see the lines in this wall. See this right here? Kind of comes up a little bit and goes over. See that? And there's another faint line right here. I believe this is part of a wall. Folks, I don't believe this is a rock hill at all. I think this is an actual structure. And they're doctoring it to make it look like it's just simple rocks. Doesn't it coincide with what we've been saying before that we found things that were very small? And it looks like structures that are very small as well. So is it possible that this could still be an entranceway and we're seeing part of a structure that's not very big to begin with? Is that a possibility? Pure speculation here, folks. And again, here's the colored version of it here, and I think it's really good right here. Like I said, the only difference with this one here is that a lot of times you will find that more details have been wiped. Just because a photo looks cleaner and much clearer doesn't mean that they didn't wipe all the details out that they were originally in the photo, right? Um, right here on the lower left, check this out. Look at these. They look like fins in these rocks, right? You can see this one here going kind of across, kind of goes down in a slant, and then drops right down straight down, but it has this nice smooth edge. We have a block, it looks like. Or it looks like somewhat like a cornered block. And we have, again, what looks like this wall, right? All right, let's just jump right into Photoshop because I want to show you this because I'm going to show you what I found in there and I thought was pretty interesting. Now, what I do is I took a screenshot of the colored one here. What we're going to do is we're going to clean this up Get rid of this color, 
and shopping it up. Let me show you the difference. I'm just going to put the doorway right in here in the middle. We're going to go ahead and do the auto color and shopping it. Okay. See how they've gotten a lot clearer, right? Now, this is what I find interesting right off the bat. In fact, we can go back to the original right here. Let me just show you a couple things. This item. We'll zoom in a little bit more so you guys can have a better look. Check this out. It looks like it's doing this here. And it looks like we have what looks like these vertical slots in this so-called rock, right? Again, let's clear it up, get rid of the color, and you can see that. This is, and I'll take you step by step, you can see where I changed the color, brightened it up a little bit, and then sharpened it. So I didn't add anything to it. These are the actual steps, okay? But I also want you to look at this here. There's some more lines in here in this section. And also, like I said, they said that this is kind of like a corner. I don't believe that there is. I believe that this is kind of an airbrushing. I'll tell you why. When you look up this here, this piece appears to be like a small bracket or design, if you will, goes down and then it disappears into this, into this area here. I believe this is part something that's intelligently made. What it could be, I have no clue. I'm just saying, but that's what I see right there. Let's look at the original. It's still there. Change the color, do this, and sharpen it. It's a lot clearer, okay? So I don't believe that that's like an angle to a doorway. I believe that they just kind of airbrushed it just to get rid of the rest of whatever that is. And of course, again, we have this in the lower right. Now, let's go back here. I'm just gonna show you the full enhance, and then we're gonna go from there. And there's a couple other features I'll show you as well, okay? now. Let's bounce over here to the left. Now, folks, check this stuff out. Look carefully. You can see down in this section here, right here, look at the little details in this. What is this weird, almost oval rock with a dark slot in it? See that? I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna show you the original. It's right there, I can still see it. But they try to airbrush it away, right? See that? It's there, but they put this white film over what they don't want you to see. Check out some of these other details, like right here. We have this straight edge piece. Almost looks like it mimics the same thing on the other side. We'll zoom in a little bit there so you guys can see it a little bit better. Check that out. There's also other features up here. Not sure what to make of that, but that doesn't look natural to me. And again, here's the original. Okay. Go up to where this wall piece was, or up here. And again, this is the shopping version. And what I try to do is just go into and try to burn any of this area, because you can see how it's kind of like this, got this milky kind of look to it. Well, we want to try to bring it out. There are some things in there, but you can't really make it out. You can see that, right? Some interesting parts in here. See this? Not sure what to make of that. I'll show you the original. You can still see this object right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Here's the original original. Change the color and shopping. Okay. Here's some other interesting pieces too, which I find really weird. If you look right here, you can see where they airbrushed this pot right here. And then we have what looks like these weird designs right here on these rocks. Okay, you don't see this area like this up here. You don't see it up here. But you see some straight pieces and areas inside these rocks. What could those possibly be? Well, when you burn it, you can see it. It's not that easy to see, but you can see the shape of that inside there. We have this or these items right here. Take note of this thing right here. I'm not sure what to make of that. It kind of does this and wraps around. Almost looks mechanical. See that? You can still see that piece right there. Try to drag it out. Again, this is airbrushed and there's something in there they don't want us to see and you really can't bring it out too much. Again, see the way they did this? It's trying to hide what's in the photo, right? Okay. This area right here. 
again, airbrushed, we can show you right here, but then take note of the little details you'll find inside here, right? And these little shapes, stuff like that. And I really don't care if it's just something to do with the manipulation. Something tells me they're trying to hide something in this area too. It might be sticking out of these so-called rocks and they just don't want you to see it. So they simply airbrush it out, right? Now, if we bounce over here at the door, zoom in. Well, let me show you what I found here. And you can see this. If you look carefully, I can see something doing this. Coming down. Appears to be almost rounded. Okay. We got this piece like I showed you earlier. Now watch this. Let's do a full enhancement. Folks, check this out. It is actually there. You can't see it too well right there because, again, the color throws the eyes off. We got this right here. Let me zoom into this. You guys can see this a little bit better. Now, pay attention to the real faint lines you'll see in here. Okay, and then we're going to have a look at the other area here. Now, watch this. I'm going to go back and forth slowly and then have a look. Folks, there's much, much more in here. I promise you there is. Now, if we back out, Here's this weird little piece. It reminds me of a mini oil rig. You know how they sit over the ocean? Uh, we have this right here. Kind of looks like it's doing this. We have what looks like something on top of it. Not sure what to make of that. Right? Looks like it's off the ground. We have something right here doing this. Again, appears off the ground. Almost looks like mini structures. That's the best way I can explain it. And... Here it is still there. Nothing has changed. But burn the stuff around it, folks. And guess what? Check this stuff out. Let me just back out a little bit. Now, don't get me wrong. Some of these lines could, in fact, be maybe some parts of compression artifacts. But I can zoom way out of this. Check this out. And I can still see those lines. And I can still see the shapes to them. So they're not compression artifacts. You should not see that unless you do this. Until you get way in right about there. And you should be able to see them more. I don't even see them. Okay, even if we were to do this and go to the original photo, still not seeing it. See that? So, enhance it. We have this item right here. Let's look at the original. It's right there. Clean it up, and it's right there. You're not seeing all of the lines. That's the problem. Bring out all the lines that are there. And the reason why I enhanced just this area, something tells me that something's mechanical here. All this stuff was taken out from inside and brought outside. Remember we talked about before where a lot of us think that maybe there's life underground and maybe they're scavenging stuff to bring underground, take stuff out from underground. Whatever they're doing, that's a good possibility. Pure speculation, but it's a possibility, right? And again, we have that weird feature here at the top. So I'm not sure what to make of that. And I can still see that again, folks, right here. Right there, see it? Okay. Just bring out the lines, folks. In fact, I can do this. If I was to keep going with this, now check this out. I'm just barely starting to bring it out. Look at the lines in here, right here. And I'm going to go back and forth again. Is that one there? This? Look at the lines. As I'm gradually bringing them out, they're getting darker and darker until this is what we got. Okay? So the lines are, in fact, there. They just have to be brought out. And again, I see what looks like mechanical parts. Or is it possible these things are like mini structures? Again, pure speculation. That's all we can do on these photos. But there's something more that's in this photo than what we're seeing here, right? So there's a lot more here. And I think a lot of it's mechanical or at least intelligently made. We could just say that. It pretty much generalizes it saying it's intelligently made. It's the best way to put it, right? Here's another little feature here. I don't think people mentioned was that right here. And if they did, well, we're just going to go over it. Check this out. What's going on here? Almost looks like it has this weird piece here. This literally goes up like this. Okay. And of course, it just looks like a simple rock after the fact, like right here, the shape of it. But check that out. What is that? And it's right there, the original. 
cleaned up and sharpened up right there. Okay, pretty interesting. I think that's pretty cool. Somebody's mentioned right here, this area right here, where it looks like another opening of some sort. And this is what I had showed you earlier, where it looks like that is an airbrushing to haze over to try to hide whatever's there. But you can see that right there. Is it just the blocks had fallen over onto each other, or is it an actual doorway? It's hard to tell. We'll go back into this real quick, show you guys. Lower left corner right here. The objects you can see within the haze. Like I said, it looks like this other wall right here in the middle of the screen. Right here. Looks like more stuff sitting right here. You can see where they haze that over right there. And you can see what looks like this piece again right here doing this. And back over to this. Not sure what to make of this, folks. Is it possible it's an air shaft? Is it possible it's nothing more than a doorway? And this stuff is just coming out from uh, inside. Maybe they brought it out. I don't know. Whatever this thing is, it's truly amazing because it looks like it's intelligently made stuff. Of course, you guys always be the judge. And there you go. Folks, again, several people have done this, did a fantastic job, showed their views, showed the little details they want to show. And I think they all did a great job of it. And I think more and more people need to get into this because sometimes I see stuff that people don't see and vice versa. They show it to me and I'll go, I didn't even see that. And sometimes you never know what you're gonna find. As always folks, drop your comments down below. Let me know what you think and let me know what you see. Don't forget to like and share and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more coming up, so stay tuned. Anyway, thanks for watching, always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.